Thank you. Thank you. Well, good evening. You know, farmers are known for starting their days early. And today, they got out and voted for their next Commissioner of Agriculture. The voters of Kentucky have spoken, and I am both honored and privileged to serve as the next Commissioner to lead the Department of Agriculture into the 21st century. You know, this journey started in a tractor shop in front of my friends and supporters, and tonight it ends the same way, in front of the people who helped get me there. So tonight, I just want to say thank you. Thank you to the voters of Kentucky for choosing wise leadership as we start the Republican role of 2015. I would like to thank my campaign co-chairs, Representative Jonathan Schell, Senator Paul Hornback, Sharon Furches, a grain farmer from Western Kentucky, and my FFA teacher from high school, Ms. Brenda Ofield. I would also like to thank Thank you for your guidance and wisdom over the year, and thank you to Donna Rineker for counting the, counting the pennies as we got this campaign financed. I would also like to thank Jean Marie Lawson Spann on a well-run race. And I think it's only fitting to thank our current Commissioner of Agriculture, Commissioner James Comer, on a job well done. <laughs> Kentucky agriculture is in a better place because of his leadership and I hope to do as good of a job as he has done. You know, the future of agriculture is bright, and I'm glad to plow new ground as we continue the success of the Kentucky Proud Marketing Program, continue agriculture education, where we teach kids and young Kentuckians that food does not come from a grocery store, it comes from a family farm. We're gonna use our expertise in international trade to help connect farmers with emerging markets and make sure that any potential trade deals, Kentucky farmers benefit. And last but not least, we're gonna to continue to push back against Barack Obama's out of control, out of touch EPA. We have seen what they've done to our friends in the coal fields, now they're after our family farms, and we're gonna to continue to push back against unnecessary federal government overreach. You know, Kentucky agriculture is known, is known as being a leader. And during our administration, we're going to continue to marvel people as we innovate our way to the future by bringing old crops to give new hope to farmers, continue the local food movement, and continue to cater towards the consumer needs of Kentuckians. Kentucky is also known as having an efficient, accountable and transparent government and as a millennial that's what my generation demands and as your next commissioner we will use this office to address the issues that others in Frankfurt are unwilling to solve. So in closing I think Paul Harvey was right. God did make a farmer and tonight tonight I share with other countless Kentucky farm kids, the gift of growing up on a family farm. So let's work together. Let's plow Kentucky's clay together. Let's plant the seeds of tomorrow's future so that we can harvest a better state starting tonight. I'm field ready, farm tested, and with your help, we're gonna run a Department of Agriculture that makes all of Kentucky proud. Thank you very much.